INFJs are popular for their compassionate and creative nature. However, it is also true that most INFJ individuals are single and probably searching for a romantic partner. There may be many reasons behind this condition, which we will be discussing in this video. If you are an INFJ or if you have some friends who are, then this video will be helpful for you. First, they may not be comfortable with traditional dating rituals. There may be a few reasons why INFJs are more likely to be single. First, they may not be as comfortable with traditional dating rituals. Many INFJs value their independence and freedom and prefer not to tie themselves down to one person. This can make dating a challenge for them since many people are used to getting together romantically and then staying together for the long haul. Another reason INFJs may be less likely to find love is that they often have a lot of energy and enthusiasm, which can sometimes come across as arrogance or cockiness to other people. They need someone who can share in this passion and often find it difficult to date someone who doesn't share the same enthusiasm for life. Second, they may not be interested in pursuing a conventional romantic relationship. There may be several reasons why MFs are more likely to be single. They may not be interested in pursuing a conventional romantic relationship because they prefer more independence and freedom in their relationships. Alternatively, they may find that their unique experiences and interests make forming a lasting romantic connection difficult. Whatever the reason, INFEs are definitely an interesting and unique group of people who deserve to be celebrated for their individual personalities and relationships choices. Third, they may have difficulty forming close personal relationships due to their introverted nature. INFJs are often seen as the smarty pants of the MBTI type world. This can be both a good and a bad thing. On one hand, INFJs are often highly intelligent and articulate which can make them extremely successful in many fields. On the other hand, INFJs may find it difficult to form close personal relationships due to their introverted nature. This can be a challenge when trying to build strong relationships with others, as INFJs tend to focus on understanding and sharing their thoughts rather than expressing themselves emotionally. As a result, Many INFJs end up remaining single or pairing off with other introverts because they find it easier to relate to them than to people who are more extroverted. Fourth, they may be choosy when it comes to partners, preferring those who share similar interests or values. They may find it difficult to build strong relationships with others, often preferring to keep things casual. They may be more independent than other personality types and are less likely to need someone else to complete them. Fifth, they may be more focused on their own personal development than on finding a partner to share that journey with. There may be several reasons why MFs are more likely to be single than other personality types. They may be more focused on their own personal development than on finding a partner to share that journey with. This could mean that they are more likely to prioritize their own needs and desires above those of a potential partner, or that they are simply not as comfortable in relationships as others. Additionally, MFs may have a harder time trusting others and may be less likely to form close attachments due to the heightened sensitivity of their inner worlds. As a result, they may find it harder to establish meaningful relationships with others. Six, they may find it difficult to open up emotionally, which can make forming a relationship difficult. There is some evidence to suggest that MFs may find it difficult to open up emotionally, this can make forming a relationship difficult, as they may not be as candid with their partners. Additionally, INFJs often have a high level of independence and need time to trust others. As a result, they may be less likely to initiate relationships or commit fully to them. Seventh, they may be slow to trust others, which can make forming a lasting relationship difficult. Some people believe that INFJs are slow to trust others, which can make forming a lasting relationship difficult. This may be due to the INFJ's deep-seated need for independence and their sensitivity to being judged. INFJs often have a hard time opening up emotionally, which can make connecting with others difficult. Additionally, INFJs value authenticity and often feel uncomfortable with pretense or false displays of emotion. As a result, 
They may find it difficult to form relationships where both parties are completely open and honest with each other. Eighth, they may find it difficult to communicate with others due to their dominant thinking type, which can make forming relationships difficult. Additionally, infers tend to be very intuitive and have a strong sense of inner guidance, which can make it difficult for them to trust others. All of these factors can lead to infers being more likely to remain single. Ninth, waiting for someone else to make the first move. There is a common belief that infers are too independent and too individualistic to settle down and be monogamous. This may be true for some infers, but it is not universal. The main reason why infers are likely to remain single is because they typically wait for someone else to make the first move. For example, an inf might not feel comfortable pursuing a relationship if they do not believe the other person is interested as well. Additionally, infers often feel like they need to take the time to get to know someone before jumping into a serious relationship. This can take time, which can lead some infers to remain single indefinitely. Tenth, they don't do casual. There is a lot of speculation as to why infers are mostly single. One theory is that they don't do casual relationships well. They may be too independent or selective in their partnerships, which can lead to difficulty forming lasting connections. Alternatively, infers may simply be more choosy in who they date and find it harder to find someone who matches their unique personality and interests. Whatever the reasons, it seems that infers are disproportionately singles. 11. They see past facades and fakery. There is something magnetic about INFJs that draws them to people who share their interests and values. INFJs are reliable, intuitive, and insightful individuals who can see past facades and fakery. As a result, they may be more likely to find true love than other personality types. 12. They like spending time alone. There is some speculation that infers are single because they like spending time alone. Generally, Individuals with INFJ personality type are known for their introverted nature and strong intuition. Because they prefer to spend time alone, it is likely that they don't find the company of others to be as fulfilling as others do. Additionally, INFJs may struggle socially due to their intense analytical abilities and inner focus. This can make interacting with others difficult, if not impossible.